Hello friends, I'm Paris and this is our fourth video in QD chart. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can create pie chart and in this video I want to show you that how you can create a donut chart in uh, PyQt5. So in not PyQt5 and in QT5 C++. So uh, now let's get started. Uh, first let me just uh, create a new file or project QT widget application and in here let me change this to for example, uh, donut uh, chart ex or donut chart. Uh, click on next. Next. Uh, I'm using Q main window. Click next and finish. So first, let me just close the spy chart. Okay, this is my project. I have my header files and also CPP and also my form.ui file. First, let me open my .pro file and I need to include uh, charts in here. So, charts. Uh, let me save it. And after this, I'm going to open my main window.h and I need to include. Uh, so, I need a QT chart. So, charts. Also, I need to include a uh, Q chart view. Uh, also, I need to add a Q pi series, so Q pi series, and also I'm going to use Q pi slice like this. Okay. So after this, I'm going to open my main window.cpp and in the constructor. I'm going to write my code. So the first thing I need, I need to create a QPy series. New QPy series. So this example is uh, taken from Qt documentation. Uh, you can check for more advanced advanced example of a donut chart. So now you can set uh, the whole size. Uh, I'm going to give it 0 0.35 and now uh, series append let me append a data in here for example protein 4.28 percent 4.28 Uh, now let me just uh, create a queue of pi slice and I call it slice series and I want to append uh, so fat 50.6% and 50.6 okay now after this we need because we're using a queue pi slice we need to explode this so slide set explode it and also you can slice uh, set label visible uh, you can give it a true or false I think by default it's true so we don't need to add and also now a uh, series append and we are going to append some more data for example, other 23.8% 23.8 and uh, let me just copy this paste it once more, so 56 56.4% 56 and uh, 56.4 okay now after this we are going to create a Q chart so Q chart and let me call it chart because we are going to add our this uh, series on our in our chart and after that we need to create a chart view we are going to add our chart to the chart view so new Q chart And now we need to add our uh, uh, our the series to the chart. So, 
chart add series and I'm going to add my series in here also you can set animation for your Q chart so chart uh, set uh, animation options and we are going to use Q chart uh, series animations so let me just set the title so set title now it is a, a donut chart example and also uh, so now let me just create a Q uh, chart view so Q chart view and I call it chart view new Q chart view and we are going to add chart in here so after uh, this uh, we need to uh, set the render hint so set render not chart chart view so set render hint and Q painter uh, and T aliasing and at the end we need to uh, set parent so chart view set parent to UI and a horizontal so let me just uh, okay I haven't created this so I need to create uh, add a horizontal layout in here and morph into Q frame and now let me make it bigger and uh, you can see I'm going to just copy this object name and in our main window.cpp let me just add this in here okay now let me just run this so now you can see we have a nice uh, donut chart and uh, you can run it again so with a nice uh, animation uh, also you can uh, set a dim for this so for your chart now in here you can simply write chart and you can do set dim and in here you can use Q chart and there are different dims that you can use so uh, so I'm using this and now if I run it again uh, you will see that uh, okay now you can see we have a nice chart in here uh, and now the dim is changed this is a donut chart so like this uh, you can create charts uh, I will add source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video